Dubious ones, welcome back to the channel for some more all in reviews. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and leave me your feedback on this match down below. But next up, we have Chris Jericho versus Hook for the for the World Championship, the FTW, also known as the Hardcore Title in AEW. So to start out, we had Chris Jericho coming out to Fozzie, and he sang his own theme as Fozzie played him to the ring for the FD, FTW title match. This was actually a lot of fun. Probably, I thought going in was probably going to be my favorite part of the match, as I did not have high expectations. But we'll see what happens. Hook then came out with tape over his right eye. They played Taz's countdown part of his theme with the heart monitor beeping before Hook's theme played. I thought that was a nice homage uh, to Taz. I thought that was a nice little thing they gave him. Uh, the fans gave a great ovation. Taz did join the, broad the broadcast team for this match. Uh, obviously, it was FTW rules for this match, so meaning it's a hardcore match, no disqualification. Um, so Big Bill and the Bad Apple, Brian Keith, uh, jumped Hook three on one. As soon as the bell rang right at the start of this match, Big Bill hit a running splash in the corner on Hook, and surprisingly, the fans went crazy for it. Jericho then hit a code breaker for a two count. Hook gets up and then T-Bone suplexes Brian Keith. Low bridges Big Bill outside of the ring, then hit Jericho with a German suplex, followed by a T-Bone suplex. Jericho then went outside and grabbed a bag from under the ring. It's not thumbtacks or hockey pucks. This time, it was cricket balls. Uh, he gets hit with another suplex, and then Hook goes out and grabbed a cricket bat from under the ring, hits Big Bill and Brian Keith with it. The fans actually seem to be behind Big Bill for some reason, uh, uh, as they were booing Hook when he hit Big Bill. Hook then begins hitting Jericho with the cricket balls, then hit a T-bone uh, suplex with the cricket bat in hand. Brian Keith uh, jumped in, hit Hook with a trash can lid, and Jericho put Hook into the walls of Jericho. Was this the end? No, it was not. Hook managed to get out and then put Jericho in a walls of Hook, a walls of Jericho of his own. Um, but Big Bill gets in the ring, breaks it up, and the fans once again go crazy for Big Bill. This was really the story of the match for me because I didn't understand it. I understand the clock, the big bill. They're in, like, uh, they're in England. They're, you know, they're at Wembley. But still, I thought it was crazy the ovation Big Bill got. Uh, big Bill then set up a table. Brian Keith uh, pulled out a barbed wire board from under the ring and put it across the table. Big Bill went to choke slam Hook through it, but he got reversed and then shoved Big Bill into the post. The fans then boo this as they were firmly behind Big Bill. And even though they cheer Hook every time he beats down Jericho, they boo him every time he gets the upper hand on Big Bill. I didn't really understand it, but the fans were so clearly behind Big Bill. Uh, Jericho then got the advantage and grabs a trash can. He dents it over, Chris, er, over Hook's head. Jericho went for a Judas effect, but Hook ducks, then hits another T-bone to Jericho. He then removes the tape from his right eye, showing that he can see. He then went for a red rum on Jericho, but Big Bill grabs him from the apron. The fans go crazy again for Big Bill. And Jericho grabs a pool cue to smash Hook with it. Um, but Hook reverses and gets out of the way. And he actually hits Big Bill, who then falls back through the table with the barbed wire across it. The fans went crazy. Hook goes for another red rum, but gets shoved off. And Brian Keith hits him with some sort of foreign object. We couldn't quite see what it was, but he hit him with something. And then Jericho grabs a kendo stick and goes to hit Hook, but he got reversed into another red rum. At this point, Taz is losing his mind on commentary, stating that it is FTW rules, but if he if he knew with this kind of stuff was going to happen all these years later um, with the rules, he thought it was a little crazy. So Brian Keith, then as Jericho's in the red rum, Brian Keith grabs the FTW title. He gets up on the apron, goes to hit Hook with it, but Taz gets off the commentary table and rips Brian Keith off the apron and then put him in a Taz mission of his own, a red rum of his own, and the fans went absolutely crazy for this. Jericho then, in the middle of the ring, had no choice 
but to tap out to the Red Rum and Hook is your new FTW champion. The fans went nuts. It was a fun match. It definitely beat all of my expectations going in as I really didn't expect anything from this match. The fans' excitement for Big Bill definitely tells me that he's probably going to get more of a push coming out of this match um, as Tony really does react to fan reactions and um, change bookings as we remember from back when I believe it was the acclaimed lost to, um, lost to uh, what's his name, um, Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland at that pay-per-view, but the fans were so behind the acclaimed. They did the rematch at the next pay-per-view, and they had the acclaim take the titles. So I really think Tony does listen to the fans, especially in the arenas when they get big reactions like this. So I definitely will not be surprised if Big Bill actually does get some form of significant push and maybe some form of singles title run coming out of this, um, just because the reaction was so crazy for Big Bill in this match. Um, Taz and Hook then embraced. All the fans cheer. I definitely thought this match definitely over-delivered. Uh, if I were to give it a rating, I'd have to say I'd give this match a solid 5.5 out of 10. Uh, I was very much a standard hardcore title, FTW, no rules, you know, plunder uh, match. It didn't disappoint, yeah, but it definitely wasn't anything to write home about for me. Might have been just because I'm not super into Chris Jericho at this point in this iteration. The Learning Tree's uh, fun, more of a comedy gimmick for me. Um, I don't take it super seriously, and at this point in his career, I don't expect him to have big five-star bangers. Uh, this was great. A very serviceable hardcore match, FTW title match. Thought it was great. Fans got what they wanted. Some big fun spots. But for me, again, a 5.5 as I'm just... I wasn't really crazy about the build going into this. The story being told, it was okay. It wasn't great. Definitely not on the level of the Tony Storm and Mariah May match. Um, but again, that was a year-long story told. This, a much shorter story told. Um, but again, it was definitely a fun match. Um, worth a watch if you're looking for, you know, your standard hardcore title fair. Hardcore kind of title match. That's kind of what the FTW titles become. Um, but I very much have been enjoying the show thus far. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you thought about this match down in the comments down below. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel as I will be reviewing the rest of the matches on this card as I go on throughout the day and throughout the night. They will be posted to the channel, so stay tuned to the channel for that, and I will catch you all in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys enjoyed all in, and I will catch you all in the next one. Dubious ones, till the next one. Deuces.